Welcome back to another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been using realistic military tactics and CQB doctrine to play this game, Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. As a reminder, if you haven't yet purchased this game and you're looking to do so after you watch this video, you can get a copy of it from my game store at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. If you choose to purchase it there, that purchase will support my channel directly. I'm really thankful for each of you who choose to purchase the game in that way. Today, we're taking a look at yet another level in the extreme rescues portion of the campaign. This one's titled Embassy Siege. I know it is infamous. I've seen others talk about it. I have never played it myself. This will be a blind look. First time I've ever seen it. We have eight slots, and I plan to use all of them this time <laughs> to, uh, to get through this mission. This is a hostage rescue. We don't know exactly where the hostage is in this large complex, um, but it being called Embassy Siege and then seeing how this thing is laid out we can assume that we are potentially rescuing some diplomats or other non-combatants from this environment. Now, I will go ahead and kind of take a look at the environment as we usually do first, and kind of what I see when I do this examination of the space helps me decide who I bring and how I fight. So, um, first things first, I've got a sniper in support. You can tell that that's the case based off of this red laser that's looking into this bathroom or this back room, I should say. Over here, he's got a, a bead on this guy. Um, I'm also able to see this guy, so my sniper down here has a field of fire like this. Um, that means he can see through this glass right here. You can see this whole exterior courtyard. Um, he's able to see this guy. He's able to see this guy in this gray area is dead space that's created by that little corner wall there. This is the embassy. Um, I think that our ambassador or like our, our kind of a executive or our principal, um, who may be the person that we are trying to rescue, may just be located back here. This looks like the executive office. Interestingly, we do have ammo crates here. I do see a pistol on the desk. I do see a bunch of um, evidence that this place has been occupied for some time. And it being called Embassy Siege, as I look around the rest of the environment, I'm seeing sandbag bunker, sandbag bunker, sandbag bunker, um, barricades in the hallway that make me feel like they're kind of forcing me into these avenues. And uh, so this is a prepared position. This is a, a siege that maybe has been going on for some period of time, and we've kind of culminated, and a decision has been made to send in a team to extract those who may still be inside. Uh, as we continue our scan, we already saw uh, a bunch of those barricades. That's a, a, a theme that we see repeated throughout. Uh, lots of symmetry here. I've got eight guys, and just based off of this symmetry, it being identical both north and south, um, I kind of think I, I need to bisect this entire space and then commit four guys to this portion and four guys to this portion. That's just my initial assessment. I could change my mind there, but um, just mathematically that seems to kind of make sense. It's really difficult to get an idea of how many bad guys are in this place because they shouldn't be here. It's not like they drove up uh, in a bunch of cars. I can't count cars. I can't count living quarters because they are not in their element. They have occupied uh, one of our spaces, as it were. Um, I got an RPK on the ground right there, so we'll be seeing to see we will be looking to see if that light machine gun gets into the fight. Uh, because we saw these ammo containers over here, I'm not ruling out like that there's shoulder-fired weapons and stuff like that. And certainly, a organization that's willing to take an embassy by force and hold captive hostages from that embassy, they'd certainly be willing to use things like hand grenades, suicide vests, and all those other sort of threats. Uh, looking up here, we got an AK variant. Um, Lots of place to sit and lots of furniture that's been knocked over that could be used as barricades. Um, I'm also looking at kind of open breaches. So I see a big open window here. The glass has already been punched out. So they could have some sort of defensive fighting position or just have um, someone looking out this way. If they've occupied this space for some time and they've, you know, are defending it from a siege that's evidenced by our mat V's out here, they would have prepared defensive fighting positions inside. They're in a defensive posture. We do not have the element of surprise um, that's going to heavily influence how we choose to enter and clear this area. My other question here is we have to save somebody, right? So there's not a clock in this game mode, but because there's a hostage, I could make a mistake that gets that hostage killed. And I don't want to do that, but I haven't seen any executioners yet. Uh, and I also can't just go barreling straight down this alley towards where I think my hostage is going to be located because that's going to get me killed. So um, it's a real challenging situation. It's kind of one of those where I want to go as fast as I can, but I'm going to be forced to use a lot of um, fighting from the threshold and limited penetration sort of techniques. Um, which means uh, we'll be a little bit more deliberate than I want to be in a hostage rescue. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Um, 
to accomplish this, we have eight people to do it. I'm going to make two fire teams, split them four and four, north and south, and uh, and kind of make some decisions on how I allocate those fire teams during clearance as we get started. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, drummer and Philly as our fire team leaders in support. I'm going to give them each a grenadier. I don't think I'm going to bring a marksman or a support gunner in this case. A lot of people ask why I don't use a support gunner, and they just aren't great honestly in door kickers and we don't have an integrated su suppression function yet so once they get to the point where i can just direct them to suppress a uh, a, m a movement corridor or a direction um i would uh, i would bring them and just use them to suppress so that i could just maneuver uh while they're suppressing for me but we're not there yet once that feature is added i'll probably bring them more often um so i've got two grenadiers okay. two assaulters i think what i'm gonna do got is it. just fill out um the rest of the team with uh with those assaulters Maybe I bring more grenadiers. Okay. Nah, bring more soldiers. All right, so we are four and four. I'm gonna make sure everybody looks the same. M4s. A lot of people ask me why I haven't upgraded yet, guys. I just I like the M4. It's the gun I'm I grew up with. You know, it's uh, it's comfortable to me. These other guns might look better. I'm also looking at the stats. Look at the aim speed is a uh, is slower with the Mark 18. That's freaking weird. Oh, I see what they're saying. Okay. Interesting. Better crit chance. I didn't know there was crits in this game. So I could min-max. I could switch some stuff up, but I really like the M4. It makes me feel happy and comfortable. Um, and I really like the EOTech for similar reasons. And instead of green tip, we're going with sauced because we always do. Um, since this is a hostage rescue and we're walking into a defended embassy, I'm bringing a lot of extra protection. I'm going to stick with the extended ranger vest. Um, frags, bangs... Breach, and then I'll go ahead and copy this loadout, and I'm gonna give it to this guy. All right, so that all looks good. Frags, bang. We're gonna bring a different method of breaching, and then we'll also paste it here, and we'll bring that opti wand, which I don't know if we'll have time to use, but we're gonna bring it, it. just in case. Uh, Grenadier, actually let me finish out with these assaulters, so make sure that Drummer has the same kit over here. Good. Good. Swapping it up for a different method of breaching. And then, finally, give this guy the Opti Wand. Um, I guess what we are lacking here is a dynamic hammer, but I've got enough slap charges and wall charges that I think I'm comfortable. Uh, now let's take a look at our GL class, and we're using an M4 with a grenade launcher. Other options is a shorty with a grenade launcher and M16 with a grenade launcher. Again, I just feel safe and comfortable with the M4. I just like that gun. Um, we're going to put a hollow, type, uh, hollow sight on it, an EOTech, and then we'll put uh, that sauce demo on there. Um... And then let's go extended ranger vest, flash uh, frags, flashbangs, and then I'm actually I think maybe gonna go with smoke just to give us an option, um, and then I'll copy that. So my grenadier, so he's gonna have standoff. I don't expect him to do a ton of breaching. He might end up being a two-man a lot, so that's that's a good reason to give him some extra flashbangs. Um, so we'll copy that. And guys, what I mean there is um, my, my grenadier is never going to be a point man if I can help it. I want to lead with an assaulter if I can. Um, and I'm never going to throw a handheld with my guy who's the number one man in the stack, so I can use my grenadier as number two, three, four man, and in that position he's able to throw stuff uh, without giving up security. So um, all right, that's what we got. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Some of my initial considerations is when do I begin killing people with a sniper? I think the answer to that question is once I'm compromised. As soon as I'm compromised, I'm going to start killing guys um, so that they don't reposition on me. Um, and then uh, so for our, uh, our method of clearance, I'm going to avoid this long fatal funnel for as long as I can. There's no reason to go walking through these double doors, especially when it's pretty clear that there's some built up fighting positions that have already been created um, that are just looking down this long corridor. I mean, that is an engagement area by every sense. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these stacks up. I'm going to occupy these spaces, pull cross cover like this, and then pass this direction, try to clear as much as I can from these windows, and then um, 
end up blowing a wall shot or something or climbing through a window to get inside uh, and then making some decisions on coming through these walls coming through these walls goal of course is to get to this area as fast as I can I think that's where my hostage is I have no reason I don't really I can't prove that I don't know where this guy is or where these multiple hostages are but I think that our principal would be located in there based off of the signature of this building um, but uh, yeah let's uh, let's see how this nonsense goes uh, so first things first everybody we're gonna choke on up let's see how we do all right we have been compromised I'm gonna let that sniper go to work now One down. And I think what we'll do... Oh, man, can we get another shot? All right, that sniper's got two dead, and then we've killed two right here. So that's what I mean by wait until uh, that sniper... Excuse me, that's what I mean by wait until compromise to engage with that sniper. So I didn't want to shoot early, because if I had done that, it would have alerted these two sentries to our presence prior to us being prepared uh, to begin the fight. However, if I take that corner real quick and simultaneously engage across... Then I'm going to start seeing movement inside, and uh, at that point, these people could be moving to execute hostages or doing any number of other bad things, but I want to eliminate them before I have to go in here and fight them later on. So what I think I'm going to do now is kind of just give it a second. Um, I'll leave my sniper kind of in support right here, see if he manages to see anybody else. And uh, now we've got the lovely job of trying to make this nonsense work. Okay, we're just cheating up. Okay, right now uh, we are pretty bunched up. I'm a little bit concerned just based off of how close together our team is right here. If there are bad guys either inside or over here, they could very easily throw a grenade or put some sort of mass casualty producing weapon um, on us. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and take these flashbangs and I'm going to put them where I think my high risk areas are. Just as early diversions that I think may aid in protecting the force um, and then while I do this what I think I'll do is um, I'm gonna cheat up our three three man and then they are gonna pull security on this fatal funnel all right those flashbangs are going out as they go out what we're gonna do is go ahead and flow down these corridors and occupy security positions here and here that's a threat area because I believe that window is open and this window is also open so those are areas I need to be concerned as well as anyone that might be outside there okay all right with those flashbangs going off I've still got security on the door I think we'll do now is go ahead and button hook and push to and hold here the whole time he does that he's gonna hold security on this corner same thing on the opposite side. Push to and hold here. He's going to maintain security on this corner. Two man. He'll end up kind of flowing right with him. Cool. All right, the three man is actually just going to move right up here. And I'm going to leave them pulling security on these doors. Our foreman is going to choke up into this stack. Actually, I'll put him right here. All right, let's see how we do. Open door here. Open door here. See, we had these guys in security. That's why we're making these long shots now. Okay, now I've reestablished security, and what I think I'm going to do here is I've got, um, I'm going to leave these assaulters in place, because this gives me a nice, long peek. I'm able to now isolate this portion of the target from this portion of the target, as long as I'm able to interdict anyone that may move laterally across that corridor. I can interdict them with fires. Uh, I am going to come up here and kick this door. As I do that, I'm going to pull security for my buddy. That's why. 
and then we'll go ahead and reset pulling security long while we do it. Excellent. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, it looks like this is quite a bit of uh, a dead space producer. It's a large piece of furniture, and I'm just not able to, to look very far. Ooh, look, a bad guy. Let's, let's kill this asshole. Here's a, this is a dangerous shot, right? Because we just said that there might be a hostage in here. Taking this shot could kill that hostage. Um, not taking it could allow him to kill my assault team later. This is a risk I'm willing to buy. I think if there's a hostage in this room, it is unlikely that that hostage is going to be in the center of the room. I'm hoping he is seated um, or, uh, or just not in the center of the room. This is a gamble. It's one I'm willing to take given the circumstances. Okay, um, I got a fence right here that I'm going to need to put a charge on, and I've also got an open window. So with these two holding long, I'm able to continue my assault uh, with these three. So I am going to leave these two in position, at least for the time being, uh, while we continue to work some of these other problems. Next problem is indeed this gate. Of course, my guys with the door shots are up here, so I need to come down and put a... Uh, I don't need to blow it. I can just lockpick it. Okay, let's lockpick that. And as he does that, I'm going to slide over to give him a better angle. So, you just got to be aware of how you're exposing yourself as you move these guys around. I asked the guy picking the lock to slide over to the left. That exposed him to a little bit more geometry. I gave him somebody to pull security for him while he was doing that. Okay, that's unlocked. Up here, it doesn't seem that we have the same sort of problem, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a two-man pie. Right there, and I'm probably going to do this one at a time. Um, since it wasn't a... Uh, let's go ahead and open this, guys. Who is that? Veteran insurgent? Yep, he's going to have to do. go. Nice. Thin in the herd. Thin in the herd. Um, we're killing a lot of insurgents down here. We don't know what's up here, but we know we're not affecting them in the same way as we are in the south. So right now, at least, I think that there's more risk up top, and that's something that I need to be aware of. Um, all right. How do we fill here? I've got two muzzles on this window and covering this corner. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. These guys, or this guy still has security on this door, and then I've still got two pulling security deep. I'm ready to start working this problem um, with these guys. So let's do a two-person pie. One is going to hold this corner deep in case anyone comes around this corner. The other is going to focus on this room. Okay, we can't see inside because of this furniture. We are going to keep working. Clear so far. We're going to go ahead and bypass now. Give him a two man. Keep the stack tight. All right, and again, now this is our big threat. We're gonna do is uh, I think we're gonna peek it slowly and then maybe um, maybe end up actually deliberately banging it. Hostage, we're gonna take the shot right away. Now I think what we're gonna do is now that we know that this is a, uh, a kind of a sketchier area, I do want to get a bang in this room. And use that to pie off the rest of it. And while we do that, we are going to maintain cross coverage. Our next threat is here and here. I don't want to expose this guy to unnecessary risk by having him clear the rest of this room and expose him to a door that he's not watching. Um, so I'm going to use this ranger to cover this door. Four hostages in this th in this place. Oh my god, more hostages than we were expecting, folks. Um, we are going to hold both of these breaches for now, because that's going to end up keeping these guys safe. 
What are we shooting? Yep. One, responding to that flashbang that we threw. Uh, that's one of the reasons that we left these guys in position. Remember to cut off that movement back and forth across the hall. Um, so really, really good position. Good response there from those guys. Nothing else from the sniper right now. I'm happy with where we're at here. I'm going to work the same sort of angle uh, right here with, these team, with this team. So first guy will maintain security there. Second guy maintain security there. Three man choke up. All right, we have another open window here, so I'm actually going to bring that three men up a little bit more even. Okay, that room is clear externally anyway. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a peek up here through this next window. We aren't going to give up this room completely though, because there is a little bit of dead space there. All right, next threat, next window. Let's roll up on it, guys. Actually, let's take it a little bit slower. There we go. Okay. Alright, I, uh, I stopped it, so I've got one assaulter that's going to pie all the way to this corner and one that's going to maintain this breach. I also have a sniper, of course, helping me out with all of this. Um, let's take a peek. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Remember, guys, there's no reason to go inside and die fighting in hallways and rooms that you don't need to be in when you can do the same work from outside. Um, it's a, a good lesson here. Um, now, instead of walking through this hallway and trying to get into this bathroom, what I think I'm going to do is come through this window and, uh, and go take a peek in the bathroom using my camera, and that's going to protect me from any fire that would otherwise come down this room. What I'm also going to do, I think, is go ahead and enter this room and get this door open uh, so that I can potentially begin looking deeper. Up top, uh, do I have a camera up here? I don't. Do you have a camera? Yes, you do. Come on over, bud. All right. Let's give this guy... We'll maintain this breach with this guy, and we'll send two in to right here. And here we will send camera boy in first. We're going to maintain security on this breach while he's working. And I'll put two inside there. You're safe now. Thank you. Let's get that camera under there. While he's getting that camera under there, I'm maintaining security on both breaches. I don't even need to go into this room because I just cleared it. Let's go get a camera under here. See, that's a problem. What I don't see is a hostage nearby anyway. So, is my door charge boys all back here. Yeah, that's a problem with the way that I did my classes. They're all mirror images of each other, so I have equipment that I need that's not close enough to being in the fight. Um, but I can get it up there. I can, and I need to. So we're going to wait until we have the right tools for this job uh, to do this job. Let's get as many barrels on this door as we can. This guy's doing the least good for me right now, so I'll go ahead and bring up a breacher. And that breacher is going to put a charge on this door. He's going to do that all at a sprint. He 
He's moving. Okay. We've got a charge on that door. We're going to stack. Let's get these hostages out of the way, actually. And stack like so. Hostage secured. Thank you. I won't forget this. Tell him to crouch. Tell him to crouch. I wish there was a good way to just get them out of the way. I'm not exactly sure if that's possible, unfortunately. Um, stop there. Stop there. All right. So we got those hostages both ordered to stop. Um, so they're not coming through the breach with us. What we're going to do is blow this breach, throw a flashbang in right behind it, and uh, and then enter and clear this room. It's a, an odd kind of corner-fed corner room, L-shaped weapon on the table. There could be multiples in here. Uh, and then one additional follow-on room. So let's see what this looks like. Um, I'm going to set the boom to A. I'm going to put a banger in right behind it. That's good going to be an A and then lead man will go through and Alpha go Bravo bang. Bravo go Breach. Bravo go Bravo go That's just good. go Bravo go What a shit entrance <laughs> That's so bad That's the least smooth thing I have ever done in this game <laughs> All right <laughs> Sorry, we'll fix it we'll <laughs> next time. Uh, let's not do that again. All right, so now I've got uh, I've got two more issues in this room. I have a closed breach here and a closed breach here. Uh, we gotta immediately maintain security on both of those, like so. We'll go ahead and pass. Do it like that. Cool. Um, where's my camera at? Do I have a camera in here still? Yep. Hostage. Everything else looks good. Go ahead and get that hostage. Let them know everything's going to be just fine. Take up cross coverage on this room. You're safe now. Thank you. Um, next thing, we're going to solve this problem down here. Let's go ahead and uh, and get moving. So we'll stack in the hallway on the door. One man will move up. He'll put a camera under the door. Two man will come over his shoulder and pull good security for him. Bathroom looks clear. Except for some flies buzzing around that toilet, which at least makes me think that it could uh, it could be occupied. Um, or at least recently occupied. So uh, we will be deliberate. We've got, we've got flashbangs to spare. So I think what we'll do is use them. We know um, what happens when flashbang usage goes awry. Clear? Okay. And we'll go ahead and reposture external and, uh, and move to and link up with our buddy over here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Again, avoiding mm -hmm as best I can going outside um, excuse me going down that hallway there in the center and you guys are able to do this at a run if you please let's go back up top um, I think we're very much safe to get our final member of the fire team here inside Start flooding these dudes in here. Yep, that's all clear from the sniper. That's not though, so as soon as... That's good. Thank you. All 
All right. Let's get a camera in this hall. So I got one insurgent there. It's the only one that I can see. Hmm. I wish there was a better way to kill him. Maybe there is. I think that'll do. And I'm protected from the blast pretty good based off where I'm at. I would be throwing frags in here, obviously, and under normal circumstances. And I just got that door blown open there, too, so that's good. Um, still need to get into this bathroom and clear it before we proceed. What I think I will do is at least get some people outside and into cross coverage. Like right here and right here, looking this way in this way. We'll go ahead and do that now. Super, super risky move here. I need the sniper to get a B ASAP. The sniper's reloaded and gold is injured here, but we're going to hold what we've got. In fact, I'm even going to double up and I'm going to give them additional firepower right there and then we'll end up going uh, two man clear into this bathroom with what we've got left but we do need to get their back right away so they're not exposed because right now anyone could wander out of that bathroom and give them a really really bad time um, okay that's why we do it Alright, rest of it's clear. Feeling a little bit better about our security situation. Precarious though, certainly precarious. Now that this entire front area is clear, this dude's not doing anything for me anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring him forward. And I'm gonna end up reestablishing him here and pulling deep, I think, with him. Um, and now I've identified an additional hostage in the courtyard that I had not seen earlier, so good, good to know that. And start thinking about my next move. Um, most dangerous, most dangerous move here next. Um, quite honestly, I don't want to stay where I'm at right now for too long because um, we're so bunched up. I do want to get everyone reloaded. Okay, now that everyone's reloaded, I think the way to solve this challenge is to. Bang, enter, and clear. See, this is this is ridiculous because this is heavily barricaded, but they could still technically be able to shoot through or like have some sort of mechanism for looking through that door. I don't know if the game would model it, but you could definitely make a murder hole out of that. Um, and it looks like that's what it's designed to do, frankly. Um, what we'll do, though, is uh, we'll put a flashbang. Like, damn. Yeah, I would put, put one right there. Put one right here. Those will both go out on A. I don't like throwing flashbangs with my lead guy. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of the situation that we find ourselves in. Okay, those flashbangs are going to go out. And, uh, and then I think we're going to end up kind of, we're not going to go dynamic around these corners. We're going to pie because I think we're going to take contact. So I'll try to high low right here, uh, and right here. Alpha go. All right, let's get those bangers out. Then we're going to press to right here, holding security right there on that door the whole time. Two man is going to do the same thing. Holding security right there the whole time over here, right there security right there the whole time two man mirroring those same movements and then I'm also going to center up for anyone that might come deep with my three men and just to be cautious we'll maintain rear security all right good luck where's that tango at Ooh, grunt we'll absolutely take those shots when we can get them okay these corners are pied off pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and creep it just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. 
and sure enough we are clear both sides I'm good to collapse to the next threshold which is here and here and that's exactly what we'll do so lead man maintain security on that the whole time collapse to it two man stay on his wing pulling deep three man Push it, push it, push it. All right, we're going to start working our way around these corners. We're going to high-low again. Uh, oh, excuse me. We have a breach right here. We're going to get a camera under this door. We're going to get a camera under this door. We'll go ahead and cross, I think, and, uh, and maintain security on these deeper areas. And then our three men will end up coming over to pull security for the guys that are on the cameras. Cool. Oh, executioner. That's good to know. Holy shit. Okay, so if he sees us, he'll kill these guys. And I need to get better. Um, my priority now has to be killing this executioner without becoming compromised. And I frankly don't know of a great way to go about doing it. Who's up here? Peanut, Gold, Meathead, and Philly. Philly's going to have to do it. All right, so this there's no one that we've seen so far in this room. So I think what we're going to do, instead of risking getting compromised here, getting compromised here, we're going to keep this fire team in place, keep the sniper in place where he's at. I'm going to enter and clear this room quietly. I'm going to maintain security on this door. I'm going to rip down these drapes. I'm going to have Philly take the shot of his lifetime <laughs> to kill this executioner before he executes our hostages. Um, so let's do that now. Go ahead and enter and clear this room. Lead man, two man, three man, four man's going to remain what, uh, in place doing exactly what he's got. Okay. Philly. This is your moment, bro. Alright, so I've got security on this door. Philly's going in place. I'm going to tie this to a go code. Oh, man. Alpha, Let's go. do it, buddy. He's facing us right now. He sees us. Philly Time can't shoot. Philly made the shot. We also got a good cross shot right there. Oh my god. That was close. Alright, um, we need to get into this bathroom. And we need to maintain security on our hostages now as well, because we know where they're at. And, uh, and because we know this is clear, we're also good to go ahead and enter and clear this room. So, lead man will button hook. What are we shooting? Oh, that's good. All right, the rest of this quad's cleared. This bathroom has been cleared. I need to get this bathroom clear now. Bathroom is clear. Next challenge, this room. In this room, can't forget about these corridors. We'll go ahead and peek the rest of this corridor. 
One long. You suck. Who are you? Peanut, dude. Come on, my guy. What, what's going on, dude? Okay, looking good there. Uh, and I think what we'll do is go ahead and push up with these guys, and I'll just end up holding deep the whole time. We'll do that in both cases, I think. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about those doors still, so I'll hold off there, but I will move this guy forward. And then because that sniper... You suck so bad right now, bro. <laughs> okay, feeling pretty good about that. Um, let's go ahead and get out of here, man. Alright, that sniper can shift to focusing all up here now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Is there's that's a vet. I don't want to mess with this. I'm gonna back up because Philly's been so weak. Um, or so, Peanut's been so weak. And I think what we'll do. <sighs> you're injured, and you guys can't even climb out of here. So we're gonna back you up this way, buddy. I don't want to give up cross coverage in this area though. So. I'll leave Philly since he's the best shot protecting the hostages. I'm going to give him a two-man. You're injured. You're injured. Everybody's injured. That's great news. Go ahead and put a bang deep. Use that to get us out of here. I heard a door open. Where was it? Here. Tango inside. Nice. Alright, had him covered. Alright, we're looking good there. Um, are we able to jump this? Yes, we are. I don't know if I want to, though. I'm going to have to. That's the best way forward. Um, Alright, we'll stay in cross coverage. I'm going to use these three. Press forward. I'm going to have one high. Maintaining security as kind of expected. Deep. And then I'm going to have one wingman with him maintaining security on this corner. And they will press with one in trail. Okay, and then one at a time. Go ahead and cross. Looking good there. Um, all right, what do we got next? Let's start working the same sort of situation uh, down here. So we'll go ahead and get these guys out. We don't stand in front of thresholds. We leave cross coverage in place, so we still got good security on our hostage corridor there. You guys can do this at a run for all I care. In fact, you should. Okay. All right, let's start working it. Um, I wonder if I can throw a flashbang that would knock down this curtain for me. I don't know if that's a mechanic or not. Indeed, it will. I've got one more grunt insurgent spotted there. Most of this room is now clear because of that flashbang. Um, clear enough, at least, that I feel comfortable. At least kind of coming up into here. As long as I've got good security for myself there. Okay. Alpha, go. Alright, and super dangerous move there. Alright, that room's clear and secure. Have one more over here that we need to get a camera under real quick. Where's my camera at? There you are, bud. And we will always maintain security for the guy working the camera. And that room is clear. We're going to restack this fire team in preparation for moving to the next room. Alright, up top. Um, 
trying to decide at what point it makes sense to break these guys down. Right now they are giving me warning from that corridor, so I think I will leave them in place at least for the time being until I get eyes this way. Uh, let's work on going ahead and uh, and getting our boys through this breach. Got one room in there. We're going to have to pull long security the whole time. So Peanut is injured. He will come forward and actually just hold that position for us. Camera's in. Room looks clear. Initially, anyway. We'll go ahead and lead in. Stack on the next door. Same drill. Get the camera under there. Make sure we've got good security for him. We've still got his flank covered here. And that room is now clear and secure. We're ready to reposture for the last little chunk. Alright, um, this is an open breach. We know there's going to be all sorts of badness in here. There's a little bit of dead space left. I do need to pie off the rest of this hallway. I don't want to do it at the same time because that's how you end up shooting each other. So I'm going to lead who's less injured. Yeah, Goose, Karan, and Drummer. Let's get Drummer up here. We know he's a better shot. He'll kind of push that way. Push forward into this hallway there. And then Drummer, I need you to pull deep, buddy. All right, so I've got one with security into this breach because I think they may be coming out like that. I've got one pulling long. It's kind of a funky high-low, but it'll work, and we've still got cover back here, so we're not shooting each other. Okay, that looks good. Still have a little bit of dead space right there that we'll have to take a peek at here in a second, um, but I do feel comfortable at least proceeding forward. Next threat is going to be this open breach and this open breach. kind of makes me think that I need to do this kind of all as a single move. Um, which is sort of a, a challenge, um, but it might be the right one. And when I say a single move, I mean I might need to actually throw a flashbang and then flow all the way through here. Because um, if there's an executioner that I haven't seen yet in this room, uh, that could be super problematic. But what, what I might be able to do is actually move undetected into this room and get a camera into this door. And I think I'm going to, in fact, try to do that. Risky, risky move here. All right. I've got a little bit of dead space there. I am going to move forward just to clear the rest of it. Dead space is clear. I'm able to then commit my whole team to this breach. One hostage, one executioner. Oh, excuse me. A veteran insurgent here. A grunt insurgent here okay good to know um, and then one hostage and a bunch of weapons or something there on the ground so how do we solve this problem I think the solution is going to be yeah we'll bring this guy up since we definitely don't need him all the way back there anymore and get this charge set We'll walk right, right here just to be quiet. Get this charge set. All right, that charge is set. We are going to stack, split stack. There we go. And we will put a, because that hostage and his location, just how fast we're moving, I'm going to put a bang here, a bang here, I'm going to throw a bang from this side of the room because of where my shooters are located. So if we detonate this charge on A, all of our handhelds go on B. And then all of our movement 
occurs on C. Uh, so A, boom, B is the bang. After that bang, we know that veteran insurgent to be right here, so we're going to prioritize number one man through the door, going that direction. Two man, same side. He'll take his point of domination, move up. That looks good. Over here, they, these guys have kind of a more complicated clearance, I think. Um, they're just going to focus on this room. This flashbang is just in support. I'm going to count on these four to get this entire room clear and secure. Um, so these guys, lead man will push long wall. Two men will push short wall. Three men will push threshold. And again, all that movement needs to occur on C. So C for that guy. C here. Here we go. So. Bravo, Alpha. Alpha. That was simple enough. We didn't even have to go in. <laughs> All right, three-star embassy siege, seven minutes, 53 seconds, 28 pacified, no hostages lost. Took it real slow and deliberate. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That was really challenging, actually, and, uh, and it was a longer one. Hopefully, there were some good lessons learned throughout. I'll make sure to try to fast-forward as best I can through some of the slower parts. Again, if you haven't yet purchased this game and you'd like to, you can do so on my game store at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. I'm controlled pairs, and I play the most immersive tactical shooters and combat sims in the world. I'll see you in the next one.